Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter. And I'm Hannah Hall, and this is your KWHS News. Seniors, your days here at WHS are numbered. Pencil these important events on your calendar so you can be prepared for the whirlwinds called May and graduation. Senior finals start on Monday, May 13th with periods 5, 6, and 7. It is a full day schedule. Tuesday, May 14th, you'll have finals for periods 1 through 4, then lunch and checkout during 5th hour. You can leave after checkout is complete, so get those conditions cleared early to avoid this long line. Wednesday, May 15th is Senior Awards Night at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Thursday, May 16th is the Senior Breakfast at Cheyenne Mountain Resort. Buy your ticket in the business office starting today until May 10th. Tickets are $22 each and will not be available at the door. Friday, May 17th is the Grad Walk. Meet in the Counseling Center at 10 a.m. to participate in the Grad Walk at Widefield Elementary. Otherwise, you must be here at noon in Bowers Gym for graduation practice. Saturday is your big day. Meet in the Small Gym at 7.30 and Seniors, today is not the day to be fashionably late. Graduation starts at 9 a.m. and you must be ready to go before then. Underclassmen, we'll have a final exam schedule for you when it is published. But for now, mark your calendars for exams on May 20th through May 22nd. In fact, if you need some help studying for those exams, remember to sign up in the library for a tutoring appointment with an NHS member. Those appointments are on Thursdays during advisory until finals week. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, if you would like to take the ASVAB test this Thursday, sign up in the Counseling Center today. Seats are limited and spaces are filling up quickly. The test will be this Thursday in laps 153 and 154, first thing in the morning. And now we're throwing it to Jared Grace for our Gladiator Sports update. Jared? Sports time! Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Jared Grace, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. We're starting with the prom recap. Everyone had a great time. Thanks to the Junior Council and Student Senate for a great party. Congratulations to your prom king and queen. Glads, today's the day. Come out to Freddy's on Venatucci Boulevard this afternoon to support the Ultimate Frisbee fundraiser. Pick up your flyer in the main office and hand it over when you pay for your tasty meal so the Ultimate team can earn a little of your sale. We know you can dodge a wrench, but can you dodge a ball? Dodgeball sign-ups continue on until this Wednesday. To sign up your six-person team for this year's tournament, check out the sign-up sheets on Miss Melton's door. That's room 103. The cost per team is a mere $5. The game 
games begin next Monday. Guys and gals from all grade levels, the WHS Color Guard tryouts are this week, starting today, and continue on Wednesday and Thursday from 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. in Bowers Gym. You don't have to have prior experience to try out, you just need to be ready to learn something new. Come dressed in workout clothes on tryout days. Flags will be provided. In tennis news, our Lady Glass traveled to Fountain Valley on Friday and returned like the great victors they are. Those Danes didn't know what hit them. Well done, lads. The ladies are back on the course tomorrow at 4 against the Cannon City Tigers in Cannon City. If you can make it, the ladies would appreciate your support. A Grizzly Layer team was in the water on Friday against Pueblo East and swam some of their best times yet. Nicely done, fellas. The boys are headed to Palmer today for their next meet. We'll have scores for you on Wednesday. In baseball news, our boys are on the road today to play the Panthers at Woodland Park at 4 p.m. The boys could really use our support, so if you can make it out there to provide some positive vibes, they would appreciate it. In girls soccer news, our ladies have two games today. The JV team will face Cheyenne Mountain at 4 p.m. The varsity team faces the Mitchell Marauders at 4 p.m. Ladies have some great momentum from their awesome win last week against Sierra, so we know they will use that energy to prevail. In track and field news, our Gladiator teams travel to the Fountain Fort Carson meet over the weekend and they continue to do well. Here are some results. Glads, the Pops in the Park concert will be on Sunday, May 5th at Paiute Park from 1 to 3 p.m. and will feature the very talented students from our WHS band programs. Since it is Cinco de Mayo, there will be tasty tacos for your enjoyment. And Spoh's Mariachi Band will be playing some festive tunes. Rounding out the concert performances will be Quincy Brown, a percussionist from the Air Force Academy Band, who will be joining the crew. Come enjoy some great music and food and have a treat from Kona Ice. And finally, Powder Puff Game has been rescheduled for May 1st. The time has changed also. The game will begin at 3.30 and the tailgate will start at 4 p.m. That's all we have for you today, but we'll be back on Wednesday with the results and scores. I'm Jared Grace, now back to the news desk with Spencer and Hannah. Thanks for that update, Jared. Glads, registration for summer credit recovery classes are going on right now, and the deadline to sign up is May 30th. The summer session starts on June 3rd and runs until July 28th, with the orientation on June 3rd and the WHS Computer Lab. Check the district website to register or see your counselor. Glads, many of you saw our dress code PSA on Friday, but we're running it again in case you've forgotten the rules. Ah, uh, yes, springtime in the Rockies, a time for Mother Nature plays games with weather and when students don't know what to wear but try to look cute and then land in the office for a dress code violation. <laughs> no worries, Glads. The dress code fairies are here to help. Ladies first. Ladies, all those extra planks Mr. Majerson had you do in the winter gave you six packs that you are proud of, and we know you're dying to show them off. Here's a poem to help you decide what to wear. I want to show my belly so bad but I'll make someone jelly and mad. So instead of starting drama, I'll save my abs for my mama. Now, we know you spend your hard-earned money to buy clothes that are cute and show off your best assets. But ladies, let's not be scandalous. Check these out and cross them off your what-to-wear list. Gentlemen, you're not off the hook. Those shorts under your pants, even if they are athletic shorts for the gym, hey, nobody wants to see anything hanging out of your backside. Check these out. No, 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 and oh my goodness, no. Oh, Lord, help us. And for those of you who think you're not in violation of the dress code, see if you can find yourself among these images. No, these are not all Walmart shoppers. And yes, some things are better off left to the imagination. So, Glads, this spring, wear clothing that is practical and appropriate and stay out of the office for dress code violations. Have a good day. And now for something a bit lighter. Here's Miss Betsy to tell us what wonderful meals she's preparing for us today and tomorrow. Happy Monday, everybody. Today for lunch, we're going to have baked chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. And then tomorrow's gonna be a cheeseburger. Look, look at the guys working to put new lights in for me. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to pay your outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria or online and stay off condition. You can check Infinite Campus for those outstanding conditions and then get those cleared as soon as possible. Remember everyone, but especially seniors, waiting until the last minute to clear conditions means your summer starts without you. Seniors, you must have your conditions cleared before graduation, so get started now. Hey Glads, the High School Art Showcase starts tomorrow at the UMB Bank at 502 Security Boulevard. The opening reception for this show is not until May 1st from 5.30 to 7.30 
1030. But you can check out the artwork starting tomorrow. This is a free event. This is a big week. First, we have Military Child Appreciation Day. Please wear purple on April 24th. Then, Thursday, April 25th is our district celebration of Day Without Hate. Please wear white to show your support for this year's theme. Remember, this is a class competition, so get your white on for Charlie Cup points. Oh, you can also check out the cool posters our students made for this event, and then get your wristbands on Thursday in the small gym. Remember, to do what is right and not what is easy. Later in the evening on Thursday, our vocal music students will be in the WHS cafeteria at 6 p.m. to share their talents. The cost is $3 for students and $5 for adults, and refreshments will be available for a small cost. So bring some extra cash and enjoy the show. If you'd rather get your geek on, then check out the projects and activities the senior PLTW students have created this year. Also, at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Seniors, after checking out these two events, why not join your classmates for the Senior Sunset Service at Barnstormers Park from 7 to 8.30. Spend one last evening with your class of 2019 playing games, listening to music, and enjoying camp coffee. We don't have school on Friday, so you can stay out as late as you want and not worry about sleeping through first period on Friday. And finally, seniors, remember that next week on Wednesday, May 1st, graduation becomes a little more real at lunch when you pick up your caps and gowns. Be sure to bring your ID. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Spencer Walter. Remember, we have a four-day week this week. And I'm Hannah Hall, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great Monday. Earth Day. It's all about saving the planet. Don't use any plastic, please. Happy Earth Day!